Happy Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. I'm excited about it. It's been kind of a long week. Uh, today the, the express bus didn't show up till almost 15 minutes late. I was actually going to catch the 18 because the 18 was running late and then it turns out uh, the, the 719 driver showed up. I thought it was because of all the traffic that was downtown and there were a number of accidents on the various expressways. But I guess my bus driver had some problems where he hit the wrong button on the bus and he set off the alert system. And then he had to get out and restart the bus, and then the bus didn't restart. Apparently the power steering didn't click back in, and then, I don't know. He had, he had a list of excuses why he was running late. Yeah, but I almost missed him because he didn't have the, the 719 sign on because, uh, well, he didn't know how to get, get it working on the other bus that they got because after the, his bus died. But ultimately I got home by, well, a little before 6, so had some salmon and rice and uh, peas this time and uh, some tomatoes, which is a pretty good dinner. Um, out walking right now at five, or actually at uh, the Elm Avenue Town Park. It was too late to go to Five Rivers. But I did walk at lunch and check out the tulips at the Tulip Festival. They're already starting to go pretty good at this point. But uh, it was still nice to check it out and I'll be up to probably close to 11 miles by the end of the day, which is plenty of walking. Um, so I've been now exploring the uh, the, um, the National Hydraulic set, uh, data set and uh, stuff of wa uh, watersheds and uh, um, you know calculating stream routes really fascinating stuff and it's all using that uh, the R package for that and with R you can just do so much you know just manipulate the, the data in so many different ways and calculate things you just a few lines of code if you know how to get you know work work the data frames and stuff I mean it's great the packages I also discovered the uh, map edit package. I mean, I think I knew about it, but I never really used it. What's great about that is you can actually um, draw things on a map and then get it right back to your R, your R session, and then you know add features or create features. I mean, that's going to be great for work because they're always asking me to uh, um, geolocate various points just by a description, like in a law or text, or uh, you know, like the description, like it's this landfill or this uh, building or you know, sometimes these points that often are interchanges are a big thing or bridges. And sometimes they, they, they span multiple assembly districts and are, are not really like a point, but you really need to draw them. And I was going into QGIS and opening a whole QGIS session and building layers and making things pretty. I'm realizing that's a lot of work. And it's, they just want, you know, basically where the district is. And if I can get export it in R as a uh, interactive map, people love those because, you know, then they can see for themselves and verify the work and, uh, you know, zoom in, zoom out, and see exactly where the lines are. So it's not just you know explaining it on text or even a, you know just a, a boring old PDF slash image type thing. Other than that, uh, getting close to the weekend. Um, hopefully tomorrow's commute in the evening will go better. Um, I, I actually kind of hope they 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 can the Voorheesville bus and just go back to doing the Elm Avenue Park and Ride because it'll actually work out better for me. Even though I won't have door to door service. The advantage of the Elm Avenue Park and Ride is that they, both the, the 9 o'clock bus and the 5 o'clock bus, they actually, will, we, at least what they were doing before they were going back out to Lawrenceville, they were deadheading that route. So, you know, like the 4 o'clock bus would go out to the park and ride, turn around, head back, and then run through the 5 o'clock run. And that meant that, uh, you know, unless they ran into tr a lot of traffic on um, uh, Southern Boulevard, the bus would always be pretty much on time. You know, it's not like some of the city routes are a lot more unpredictable. But we'll see what happens. I mean, I, I do kind of on session days, like obviously having the door-to-door -door service because on session days are probably otherwise taking the uh, local back and forth. Um, so I've been do, you know doing laps here at uh, the town park. There's this nice nature trail on the back that I enjoy. You know, both you see nature and hear nature, and you're, it's, it's scenic for walking, and it's cool with the trees. Um, I haven't done anything with the truck, but putting the wheel back on or, or washing it. That's, that's going to wait for the weekend probably Sunday. Although now I've had to come up with this great idea that I told them mom and dad I'm going to come by on Saturday and they said that was good. And I think it was a great idea. Maybe after I go out and see them if I could dress for my hammock and then do you know, do a quick overnight in the woods somewhere. You know, like up in you know, one of the state forests or something. I don't know. It's a possibility. I might want to get a bug net though. Although right now it's actually the black flies are bad during the day but obviously black flies are not out at night so I might be fine just sleeping in a hammock. And the thing is, now the nights are so short that you know you get set up. Uh, you know, you could, it's still not pitch black till after 8:30. You 
and then it's going to be light out at, at you know basically 5 30 in the morning so it's not a very long night and i don't even know if i need a fire i think just kind of you know enjoy a nice night up in the woods and get some quiet i was i wouldn't mind that I mean, it's been kind of a crazy week and uh you know, it's a lot less work just to do a quick overnight like we've been doing a full camping trip. But I don't know. I may just want to, I've been still thinking about doing that 20 mile hike on Sunday out to Bloggett Hill. It's, you know, it's over 10 miles back and forth. And it's a good vigorous hike, good uphill. And, um, you know, it's good to get those steps and it burns a lot of calories. And it's good practice, especially if I want to do a 30 mile hike next along, like I think on the rail trail, although, or on the Erie Canal trail, although I'm kind of hoping my bike fixed. The problem is I've been having trouble getting spokes for it. Um, the two places I've ordered from them have either been delayed or they sent one place sent me the wrong size spokes and it's just been, it's been frustrating. I could go to the bike shop and either have, either buy some from there or, or have them do it. Although I kind of want to learn how to do the spokes myself and make all the repairs myself so I'm not at the mercy of a bike shop and I mean I can, you know, make repairs at home anytime I want to. But we'll see. Well, it's starting to get dark out, and I, this this video is, is going on longer than it probably should. But have a great evening, everyone, and happy Friday tomorrow.